Okay, so here's a short video on naming aldehydes. Like my previous video with functional groups, we looked at alcohols. This time we're going to look at aldehydes. So again, this method still um, is still used for any compounds such as aldehydes, alcohols, amines, ketones, whatever you're using. So aldehydes, if we use meth, we can do one, two. Here we go. So we've got the methanol and now you have to put the AL on the end because there's an aldehyde. Remember it's not OL otherwise that would make it an alcohol. It's got methanol there which if you see this doesn't have three hydrogens like the, the alcohol. This is because carbon only has four bonds and two of them are attached to the oxygen. That shouldn't be there, I'm sorry. And then you've got the H and H bond then which takes up the other two. If you drew this out a little bit better you'd have C double bonds O, H, H. That's what it, that's what it would look like really. Um, and then if you did ethanol, ethanol even, ethanol, remember al, you would draw two And then H there. Well, and this one would have three because there's two carbons. You've got three hydrogens around the first carbon. You've got one, two, three, four bonds on the second carbon, which would make it an aldehyde ethanol. Okay, so I'm going to draw one out and then name it. Okay, so in this one. You can see I've got one, two, three, four. Four carbons. So looking at here, it's going to be but. Therefore, with this aldehyde end, it would be butanal. And the general kind of, when you look at an aldehyde, this is how it is. But this R represents another set of groups, uh, it's another set of atoms or groups. So in this case, this R for this one would be C3H7 because you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven hydrogens attached to that. So as long as you keep in mind this here, all these, and remember these, you should be able to name any ald aldehyde given to you in an exam. Okay, good luck.